सो वी आर हियर टू डिस्कस विथ यू द रिसेंट मेडिसिन क्वेश्चन दैट अपियर्ड इन द एम्स नवम्बर टू इट वॉज अ वेरी नाइस येट कंसेप्चुअल क्वेश्चन द पलनरी रीनल सिंड्रोम इज कॉज बाय वन गुड पास टू डिजीज टू वेजनरस ग्रैंडोमेटोसिस थ्री लेप्टोस्पाइरोसिस फोर हंटा वायरस इट वॉज अगेन अ मल्टीपल करेक्ट ऑप्शन क्वेश्चन विच वॉज अ न्यू इंक्लूजन इन द इन द एम्स एंड द ऑप्शन वर ए बोथ वन एंड टू आर करेक्ट बी वन टू एंड थ्री आर करेक्ट सी ऑल फोर आर करेक्ट और डी वन टू एंड फोर आर करेक्ट न बिफोर एंट्रिंग इन टू दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज़ वेरी एसेंशियल फॉर अस टू नो वॉट डू वी मीन बाय दिस टर्म पलमोनरी रीनल सिंड्रोम न पलमोनरी रीनल सिंड्रोम इज डिफाइंड बाय अ डिजीज दैट that affects both the lung and the kidney so it causes both respiratory failure as well as renal failure now you all know that good pass through disease is again a antibody mediated glomerulonephritis where an auto antibody is directed against the nc1 domain of the alpha 3 chain of collagen 4 vegener's granulomatosis is an c and ca positive small vessel vasculitis leptospirosis is again a, a bacterial disease caused by the leptospira and hantavirus is again a very not so common disease but again a zoonotic disease caused by the hantavirus which belongs to the family of bunia viruses now good pass through disease as we all know is we all know that affects both the lung and the kidney when it affects the lung it causes it causes diffuse alveolar hemorrhage and the patient presents to you with hemoptysis similarly when it affects the kidney it causes it causes glomerulonephritis and the patient presents to you with hematuria similarly vaginal granulomatosis which is a c and ca positive small vessel vasculitis apart from the upper respiratory tract as well as the uh, ocular system and the other systems it does affect the lung and it can cause cavitations in the lung and it does manifest to you with hemoptysis as well as it affects the kidney and it may cause a rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis which may manifest to you with hematuria and a rapid rise in serum creatinine now coming to hantavirus coming to hantaviruses now hantavirus it is very important to know that first of all it is a zoonotic disease it is a zoonotic disease that belongs to the family of bunia viruses and the reservoir of hantavirus is basically rodents and humans are basically accidental hosts which get transmitted either due to a rodent bite or due to aerosolization now mainly it leads to two catastrophic clinical syndromes one is hand hemorrhagic fever with renal syndrome that is hfrs hemorrhagic fever with renal syndrome and b hcps that is hantavirus cardiopulmonary syndrome so this is basically a hemorrhagic fever with renal syndrome which leads to a rapidly progressive renal failure and this is a <coughs> hantavirus cardiopulmonary syndrome so as the name mentions hantavirus can also notoriously involve both the lung and the kidney and can lead to lung and kidney failure now leptospira of course it's a multi system disease and let me tell you in a tropical country like india leptospirosis can practically involve each and every organ okay so it can cause right from the top it can it can cause cns involvement can cause meningoencephalitis it can cause lung involvement it can cause acute respiratory distress syndrome it, it can involve the gi tract it does of course cause hepatitis it does involve the 
kidney causing a renal syndrome in fact it is very notoriously involves both the liver and the kidney and can lead to a uh, both liver failure and renal failure so practically it, it is a multi systemic disease so basically we we have seen that all the four options can involve both the renal and the lung system hence among the four options option c is the correct choice now to get into the detailed top, detailed knowledge of this topic we if we, if we ascertain the if we divide the causes of pulmonary renal syndrome into immune and non immune causes the non immune causes could be causes with pulmonary edema could be an acute kidney injury with hypervolemia it could be a severe cardiac failure so cardiac failure can due to back pressure lead to lung failure and due to hypoperfusion of the kidney lead to cardio renal syndrome an infective cause could be a legionella or a leptospira as we studied a hantavirus infection an opportunistic infection in an immunosuppressed like an hiv patient an ards with multi organ failure paracoid poisoning of which mortality is extremely high almost approaching 95 to 100% or could be a renal vein or ivc thrombus with pulmonary embolism now the immune causes the immune causes of pulmonary renal syndrome which almost lead to diffuse alveolar hemorrhage in the lung and rpj in the kidney what are those now these diseases can be classified into two broad categories those diseases that have an anti gbm antibody that is the good pastor disease mind you it's not the good pastor syndrome it's a good pastor disease and disease which have with associated with systemic vasculitis like granulomatosis with polyangiitis microscopic polyangiitis systemic lupus erythematosus a very important autoimmune disease eosinophilic granulomatosis polyangiitis which was previously known as chirk strauss syndrome a uh, henock shonen purpura in rare instances can do this bechet syndrome again not a common entity but may do it common in mediterranean countries essential mixed cryoglobulinemia may also do it and other vasculitis like ra or drug induced do rare do rare can present with this type of a disease so we have understood that in our objective question all the four is the correct answer thank you